All right, so we have 16 salmon fillets that we have to do something with, and we decided we're gonna smoke them. So today, we're gonna be building our smoker. And we have a bunch of pallets that we got for free kind of just laying around, so I figured I'd try to build one out of all these pallets. Uh, first thing we're gonna need to do is disassemble these pallets, and this is always kind of a big pain, but the easiest way we found to do it is to use a sawzall and just cut the nails. So I've already got the three pallets picked out that I'm gonna use for kind of the walls of the smoker, so let's get started disassembling them. All right, so this is gonna be one of the walls on the smoker, and all I did was cut off all the planks on it, except for the bottom two, and I'm gonna put them all back on, but when I put them back on, instead of having gaps, we're going to get them all nice and tight, and then we're also gonna use some of the boards we cut off um, from another pallet. That way, a uh, minimal amount of smoke is gonna get out of this. Now that we got the three walls up, I figured we would build the racks inside there. It'd be easier to get to before we put on the roof and our door. And the racks, we're gonna use this hardware cloth that we had left over from our chicken coop build, and then we're gonna use some of the wood from the pallet. All right, so we got one rack in, and I think we're just gonna build this with one rack. This thing turned out a lot bigger than we thought, and we don't know if there's gonna be enough room on the top for a second one. So we're just gonna stick with this one rack for now, and we're gonna go look around and see what we have that we can build a roof out of for this thing. All right, so this is what we found. We got some old, um, just pieces of metal roofing we also used on the chicken coop build. And I'm gonna see if I can piece enough of these together to get the roof on. And I think we have one that's gonna be long enough. All right, we had to take a break from the smoker build for a day or so, but we're back out here building and we are going to tackle one of the last parts on the smoker and that's gonna be the door. And we have just enough of this metal roofing to cover that area. So I'm gonna to try to build some sort of door. Hopefully we can get it sturdy enough that we can easily take it on and off when we're tending the fire and checking the meat.
So we got the door built, it turned out pretty good. Next I'm working on the little cage that's gonna go sit in the bottom of the smoker and it's gonna house our fire and our wood that we're gonna put on top to create the smoke. All right, next thing we're gonna do, since we've never used this smoker before, is we're gonna kinda clean it out a little bit and how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna start a fire in there and get it a lot hotter than we would if we were smoking meat. And we're gonna get this thing kinda burned off and then we are gonna smoke some salmon. All right, while that smoker's getting ready, we are going to head to the back of our property. We cut down some alders um, probably eight months ago and we're gonna go cut some pieces off of that and we're gonna use that in the smoker. All right, we got our wood and we're gonna take it back to the house and chop it up into smaller pieces over there because the mosquitoes are horrible back here. So we had someone leave us a comment. They said if you're using fresh wood, he said alder, which this is, you want to remove the bark off it first before you use it for smoking. So that's what we're doing. I already got a few done and I'm going to do this whole pile and then we're going to get the salmon on. We're putting the fish on the smoker. We wanted to put it on fresh, but we had to take a break for a couple days, so we ended up um, semi-freezing it. So it's semi-frozen, but we're not gonna put anything on this. We are just gonna put it on there as is, and then I think we are actually going to can all this when it's done smoking. So we have 16 fillets we're doing today. Okay, so this smoker is not airtight. Uh, we don't need like a smokestack or anything like that because we have a bunch of gaps on this edge. If anything, we probably have too many gaps. So um, there's gonna be plenty of ventilation to keep that fire going on the bottom. And there's also gonna be probably just enough to let some of that smoke out uh, to keep the fire going. I'm not sure how hot this is gonna get in here. We might uh, test it with a thermometer if we can. And we're actually not even sure how long this fish is gonna smoke for. So we're just gonna be keeping an eye on it today. We stuck our meat thermometer in here and this thing has actually been holding temperature great. It's been staying right at 140 degrees, which is awesome. I've had to do pretty much nothing to this thing but add a little bit of wood. Anyways, it's been about two and a half, three hours and we're gonna take off the door and check the salmon. So it's starting to get pretty firm around the edges, but it looks like the center is still a little moist. So it looks like it needs to go for at least another two hours. I'm gonna add some more wood on here and get the door shut. Fish is getting pretty close to being done, so we're gonna get all of our canning stuff ready. First thing we're doing is we're going around the garden and we're getting the herbs that we're gonna be canning it with. We've got some basil here. We've already picked some tarragon, cilantro, and some parsley. I'm gonna get a few more of these basils. And then the last herb we're picking is some dill. So the salmon is done, it turned out really good. And the only thing we're having an issue with now is it's stuck a little bit. I was hoping the oil from the salmon would keep that from happening, but we're working at it, it's not too bad. We're gonna get it all off and then we're gonna head inside and start canning it. All right, so that salmon actually wasn't too bad getting it off the grill out there, but we got our jars already boiled and we're ready to start canning our salmon and I'm gonna add our herbs to our jars and then our garlic and then we're gonna stuff them with the um, salmon and get them in the pressure canner.
All right, so that smoker we built today actually turned out awesome. It was able to hold a constant heat of 145 degrees or 140 degrees without even really trying. Uh, I got nothing but good things to say about that design. Our first batch of this smoked salmon is canned. It's done. This will be great this winter. We still got one more big batch to do, and we'll catch you guys next time.